People in Mandarin are on edge. They say a group of men broke into their cars over the holiday weekend. And one neighbor says that he caught the act on his surveillance cameras. This was in the Old Field Oaks neighborhood. That's near Old St. Augustine Road. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder is joining us now with how those neighbors are reacting. Nicole? Kent, the man I talked to says he has the only surveillance camera in this area of his neighborhood, and he caught a group of men coming into unlocked cars, opening them up and stealing stuff out. And now other neighbors are in the process of getting cameras of their own. This group is on the run tonight after breaking into several cars in a Mandarin neighborhood. It started uh, July 3rd, about 2.13 a.m. in the morning. I was in Fort Lauderdale, and my neighbor across the street, he texts me that uh, apparently somebody uh, broke into, not broke into, but opened the doors and got into the uh, uh, vehicles. When Victor Cologne got back into town and checked his surveillance video, he saw men running from house to house opening car doors. They came around the cul-de-sac this way. Uh, they went that way, went that way, went that way, uh, that way. And then as the vehicle came, they, they ran. Uh, two of them went to that area, the one across the street. Cologne says from what he could tell, the guys only broke into cars that were unlocked. These guys were pros. This is not the first time. When they when you look at it fast forward, they came in, they dropped off, and they did what they had to do. Our News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says many times people will not steal from locked cars because they don't want to make any noise so they won't be detected. They go in groups, you know, one person driving, three or four people go out and go to different homes. If someone has a car door that's unlocked, they'll signal to the other ones and they'll come over to that car and help them to ransack that particular car and get anything that they can. Smith says thieves will target low crime areas because people are more comfortable with their surroundings and tend to let their guards down, keeping their cars and homes unlocked. Pretty much a quiet neighborhood, but it happens everywhere. So my point is, is let's go ahead and let the folks know, hey, it doesn't matter where it happens, lock your vehicles. Even though this security footage is a big help, the police now need your help tonight to identify the group that is responsible for, responsible for breaking into these cars. If you have any information, please call police. For now, reporting live, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.